I have my makeup on. It's currently a six journey. I'm ready to leave the house. I'm going out for dinner for New Year's. I'm so excited for 2024. I've already made all the plans. I feel like I'm so prepared for 2024 as opposed to previous years uh, of my life. I'm really, really rooting for myself in 2024. When I got back yesterday, I even made quarterly plans, plans for the first quarter of 2024. I feel like if I break it down like that it's more palatable and it's more bite-sized pieces i don't know how my makeup looks <laughs> i feel like i've become like nimerudi into my beginner stage again because i went home and it's been a while since i did my makeup but i hope everything is okay my nails are terrible and i'm going to be using my hands to eat and to do things it's really uncomfortable i feel really uncomfortable when my nails are horrible and i wish i had a file ningezi toizi um polishing me toka toka so that i just remain with my own natural nails i prefer it that way over cheap nail polish like cheap nail polish i really don't know how i'm going to operate today skip class in the parking lot smoke it with your friends Girl, I know we don't talk a lot, but I'm wondering, can I get your number? Satellite, so if you wanna dip, let's dip, baby. There's a spot that nobody knows. We could take a little trip. I know there's a bar here, but uh, I don't know at what to know. But uh, just behind it is uh, the one we are going to. What I stand for and all the shit that I'm about yeah. Especially when you see all of the people I'm around Gang ain't dead in you Money and respect, two things I'm not giving out I don't never stress when I know it's word of mouth Nah, I've been through it all, it wasn't hard to figure out hey, That's why I would never take a day off Cause I know that all this finna pay off Mama always told me do whatever feels right That's why I'm always ten toes and it feel like uh, Keep it on my lap just in case, nah I fuck nigga wanna go and play, nah Sometimes I forget that this shit is real life Cause everything I gotta pray for feels yeah. like yeah. I get everything I pray for in this, uh I got everything I pray for in this, um I got everything I pray for in this, um I got everything I pray for in this, um Ayy, mama proud, but a proud, sister proud too Let me just say happy new year first this is the chicken i got oh my god my nails are so embarrassing i went on a walk to get chicken i'm just going to boil it and eat it like that i really like boiled kenyaji chicken so i'm going to boil it and then i have the off cuts here you need to off cuts the extra i don't know but this is for my boy romeo and so i'm going to boil it for him 
e, iko na miguu na kichwa na shingo no shingo iko hapa i like shingo so much so i won't give him the shingo smoking with your friend girl i know we don't talk a lot but i'm wondering can i get your number Thank you, God, for getting me here and letting me see the new year. I wish you all the best in 2024. I feel like it's the year of action for me, and I really want to take the bull by the horns and just run with it and just not leave it to chance. I feel like the previous years I've left it to chance and kind of nafanya vitu, but naenda na upepo kidogo. But this time, I really want to put my best foot forward and set myself up for success. And most of the time, we really want things to happen for us. Let me say me. And I expect beautiful things to happen to me. But I do not put in enough effort to make sure that it happens to me or to influence it to happen to me. So I feel like this is the year that I'll get to do that and set myself up for success please god i'm praying to you again please give me the patience give me the resilience give me the endurance give me uh, the discipline give me the consistency that i need to accomplish whatever i want to, to accomplish the dreams are very big this year they are very big but i know they are very attainable i was really realistic when i was making my goals for 2024 and i know if i put in the right amount of effort the right amount of sacrifice the right amount of uh, consistency and discipline i'm going to achieve whatever i have set out to achieve so cheers to the new year god bless you so much i hope you'll be here for the ride um i'll have a, a piece of chicken and finish my wine this is leftover wine from yesterday uh, with some juice because it was a dry wine i really had a good time yesterday but where hey the problems we had to go through oyster bay the service was so bad and i was just like what we paid three thousand entrance to just be sitting around in broken chairs and waiting for waiters for up to two hours i'm like <laughs> at some point i was like maybe this 3000 is redeemable it was not redeemable and i get it it was 31st uh, a lot of traffic the service was trash the service was trash karibu actually to dine and dash because i was like why am i waiting for this girl for so long to pay her we almost dine and dashed and it was just like few seconds to talk about and i wish to get a couple they were learn lesson at some point i was just like let Watch any rudy home. Watch any rudy home. <laughs> What's the point? Anyway, guys, happy new year. Day one of 365. 
Cheers. Oh my god. Myself inside, I'm gonna close all of my blinds. I'll read or write and work and hope you'll finally leave my mind. But you're still dancing in the air, still feel your hands run through my hair. I try and occupy my mind, but I can't hide. It's too soon, and it's too fast. I try to fight it, hoping that it wouldn't last. Built a world and built it fast. I can't deny it. Expectations. Myself inside, I'm gonna close all of my blinds. I'll read or write and work and hope you'll finally leave my mind. But you're still dancing in the air, still feel your hands run through my hair. I try and occupy my mind, but I can't hide you everywhere. We are leaving for the salon. We are very, very late. So I'm in a hurry. I'll be carrying this bag. It's very convenient, guys, but I need to leave it in 2023 because in a job zote. So I need to get another torch for 2024 because this one is tired. This one is really tired. It's about to tap out. So let's go very quickly because I'm already late. We are going to the salon. I'm going to do something simple and quick. See a time now. But good morning. Yes, let's go. It's also raining, so I have to wear something warm. And I have this beautiful jacket that I thrifted. It's so cute. It's so pretty. 
looks like this. Gorge. Yes. Kalim. I always carry a bottle of water and headphones whenever I go to the salon. Skip class in the parking lot. Smoking with your friends. Girl, I know we don't talk a lot, but I'm wondering, can I get your number? Hair done, not less braids. I wanted to do lines, but the girl told me, ah, why are you doing lines when you can do not less? And then she promised to be really, really fast. And I was done by 12. Jana Nilita, the Christmas cushion covers. So right now, I want to put back the normal cushion covers. And then my sister is on her way with Cooper. So I'll be going to my sister's house to pick up Cooper. I'm so excited. Our boy Cooper is back. I'm really curious how they relate with this card bandit because <sighs> Cooper is really playful and I feel like bandit is kind of standoffish like a pretty story more they've met before and they were fighting so i don't know maybe they'll be fighting today but they'll have to fall in love <laughs> they have like two more weeks of coexisting and they'll be staying here alone i just don't want anything to be broken otherwise you are going to be fighting we'll fight i love this hair so much your request was is equal breakfast sana because i i i don't want to be managing my hair instead of being productive in january i personally requested for it to be a little bit shorter i love the color it looks a bit like yellow but it's not it's not yellow i promise let me take care of my couch and then we'll go to my sister's house to pick up cooper i'm so lazy to just probe this tripod the way it's supposed to be i'm just busy breaking my back <laughs> Stop it. Stop. He's not even worried about you. Calm down, bro. Calm down.
see he's not even worried about you see he's just sleeping you mind your business so mind your business tamarind i got from my sister's house i'm trying to remove it i saw on miss wiro's channel uh, she boiled the tamarind after soaking it so i'm going to do that and then see how it will taste because me in a jonga too like you put water and then una soak and you add sugar or honey and that's it i didn't know you have you can cook it so i'm going to remove the cover and then cook it one of you guys left a question on my previous video if not the other one he was asking about manifesting and whether or not manifesting is demonic or sinful i already answered the question on the comment section but nilikuwa nimemuliza chance if i can go research more about it and then i'll give you feedback about it and i did a little bit of research i also put it on my instagram polls and i got really interesting answers and very helpful answers i gave cooper and bandit a bath earlier on and i thought it was going to take maybe like one hour and then your story but where hey <laughs> cooper came with fellow friends and animals like the number of fleas i've had to remove from that boy i'm still worried about him and nizile zile fleas the nizu stick kwa skin so even though the shampoo the pet shampoo is really good they were dead but they were dead on the skin so i had to go in with a tweezer nikitoa moja moja flea moja moja ndani ya skin ndani ya far i sat here for almost 3 hours trying to remove flea from fleas from that boy uh, but he's well now kupa kupa come come here come Come, please. He's resting. Hey, that's the prize for going to the village and running around. <laughs> maybe, maybe blood yake ni tamu. Who knows? Now, even now, my body, I'm feeling damu ina niteroka because I've seen so many bugs and insects today that damu tina niteroka. I'm going to also give him another bath, maybe in the course of the week, because. Hey, Staki Wenzetu, I only have two pets in this house. <laughs> I don't want insects. Let's go back to whether or not manifestation is demonic. When you believe in something so hard, and when you have faith in something so hard, even the Bible says your faith can move mountains. It comes to life. Human beings are creators. You have the power to create beings. When you think about something, when you digest something in your brain and you put all your will and power behind it, you're going to achieve it. And that's essentially manifesting.
manifestation is more like having faith in something or believing in something and acting as if it's already there let's say you want to be the most talented athlete on on earth the best thing you can do is act like the athletes by waking up at 5 a.m and doing practice and training yourself so that you the best of the best when you believe in something so hard you will will it to life manifestation is more like faith you can manifest through anything there are people who manifest through their ancestors there are people who manifest with crystals people who manifest with buddha there are people who manifest with the moon the sun the earth the universe so personally i manifest with god like god is involved in my manifestation and my delulu business god is in the center of it all manifesting is a tool it's more like you're using it but the medium is different i don't see any sin or any demonic thing when i'm dreaming and envisioning my life with god and making sure that every day i wake up in the morning i think of it and i work towards it i work towards embodying the person i want to become but sasa ukianza kusema ati sasa you 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 you're manifesting with crystals and the moon and the ancestors personally i don't know because i don't manifest uh, through those things i only manifest through god only the people who manifest with those things can tell us what's up you know you cannot understand what someone else believes in and one thing about religion and beliefs and spirituality it's very personal kiona mtu anasimama juu ya roof na ku na ku scream about the universe or the moon or the ancestors and they can put their life on the line for what they believe in it's because that's what they believe in and they put all their energy and might into it whatever miracle they've seen they've seen it because they make their faith in it so you cannot really tell someone oh you're wrong because where would you work a faith in whatever they put their faith in i can't also say it's demonic or it's good or it's bad i've just never experienced it it's something that sijui like for real i don't know but mimi kenya najua ni you can manifest with god you can make god the center the energy and the medium you use to get to your dreams so that's how i manifest please let's manifest away with god miss yonishida also on the post that uh, i did on ig someone left a bible verse and that is hebrews 11 verse 1 if i'm not wrong it's also in the bible so i, I just feel like manifestation is just a term in yemekuja to mainstream popularity and now everyone is using it and some of them are misusing it and some of these things we really don't understand because when you talk about um faith or manifestation you're talking about spirituality and you can't fully understand someone else's religion or spirituality unless you practiced it but when you wanna believe in crystals and all that they can only tell us if it's demonic or not me i'm not in a position to say that and i believe that wow whenever if they come to me and tell me that my god my beautiful god is crazy Ntambia, you're mad you're out of your mind because they don't know what i'm talking about and they don't know my relationship with god and they don't know how god is powerful to me but i only know that god is powerful to me in matters religion and spirituality you can only speak of what you have experienced and me personally ni me experience god na najua god unisaidia sana na god unipea nguvu hata time yenye sina nguvu and even with my dreams the wildest of my dreams it's safer for me to to trust god with them because i know him we made these dreams together in the bible god created us in his image we are creators of these things so as much as you're saying you're manifesting and all that and you're involving god it's the belief part that you need god for in all these other things it takes you it takes your will it takes your creativity it takes your power it takes you it takes me educating myself gaining knowledge making sure that i learn about myself strengthen my knowledge and my belief in myself it's me and it's the power that god has given to me and we are all creators and you can create anything in your life and the moment you believe that i'm telling you guys that's the secret
for all the people who tell me no i don't know how to start i'm so scared anxiety is kicking my ass the moment that you deep and believe that this world belongs to you and you are such a god hmm. and that's the power of manifesting by embodying the power that you need to realize your worth and to realize that you're worthy of the things that you dream of that's what you need so just know you're a mini god you're a god because god himself let me create june in my image and my likeness whatever anna possess pia mimi na possess and that's why they tell you ishi maisha yako kama god ishi maisha yako kupendeza mungu i'll manifest my way to my dreams because my dreams are so big and when your dreams are so big you have to dream about it otherwise you'll never see it come to life you'll not believe that it's actually achievable because it's so big and it's so far away and you feel like if it's up to me i don't think i'm going to make it but ukianza kusema sasa mimi na god we are going to make it and then god alini create kama yeye so we are like double gods who is going to come against us <laughs> you know kwa the spirit of delulu becomes double triple and then making my tamarind i believe that manifestation is okay and there's nothing wrong with manifestation but it only depends on what you're manifesting through so just make sure that whatever you're manifesting through you understand it that way you understand the repercussions of manifesting through those things otherwise me my god the god i worship he's okay guys he's not demonic kazi yangu tu ni ku manifest na god na ku daydream na god that's why when i was talking about uh, my vision board i was telling you guys write your plans down and then invite god to partake in these things when you do that plans that cause in aqua bullet proof bullet proof my tamarind i'm going to soak it and then tomorrow i'll prepare it i'm going to put the name on the screen of the last person who is going to win the giveaway thank you so much guys for participating i know only five of you among 3950 of you managed to walk away with the with the with the 5000 and it's not enough and it doesn't mean that if you did not win you you're not appreciated i appreciate your presence and i appreciate you always coming back thank you so much for watching please subscribe i leave the name of the last person who gets to walk away with their thousand bob on the screen i'll see you guys on the next one i'm going right now to start editing this video so i'm really bracing myself Mm -hmm. In the meantime, manifest your dreams and involve God in your dreams and put your goals and plans in the hands of God so that by the time you pray, there is a higher being taking care of you. You cannot put it on you alone. You have to gas yourself up. Now when a ninjas on your side and the, the most powerful ninja is God. <laughs> yes. And if you're not subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting for. Do what you're supposed to do. Do what you're supposed to do.